You just got a new puppy. Now what? Let's talk about all these topics and give you some guidance on what you can do in the first week. What's the first thing you should do? Well, you should introduce them to the environment. Where do they get water? Where do they get food? Where are they supposed to potty? Where can they play? Where are they supposed to sleep? Where's their crate? You need to introduce all of these locations to them so that way they're confident in knowing where these different types of activities will take place. You wanna make sure that you have a pre-prepared space. This might include a pen or a crate or maybe a combination of the two that's a safe, puppy-proof place for them to play in. When your puppy first comes home for the first few days, especially the first day, they're probably going to be pretty tired. Don't keep them up because they're new and you wanna play with them. Make sure, especially on that first day, but on all days, give them an opportunity to rest and to nap. That's going to help them be more successful later. You're going to want to use some sort of management space, typically a crate or a pen or both. You need to introduce it to them. The key thing to do here is to create positive association. The crate should have a positive association with things the puppy really likes. So you can use food or their kibble or some treats, have some toys in there, put in some new toys that they haven't played with before so that they enjoy being in their crate, enjoy being in their pen. If you give them these things when they're in there, that will create positive association. A good thing to do when they're in their pen or their crate is to drop pieces of their food or some treats in the area. You could even toss some into the crate and this will help them to go into the crate and enjoy being in the pen. Also, use toys, drop new toys in, play with some of the toys, so that way they're having a good, enjoyable time in this new space that you're introducing them to. Let's move on to potty training or potty scheduling. It's really important that you work towards establishing a consistent routine for your puppy. Now, in the beginning, you're gonna have to take them out pretty often as they start to get on this schedule that you're developing for them. But a good pro tip for you to use is get a notepad or like a calendar and write down when they go and where they went. Write these things down and it will help you to create a more consistent schedule by creating more predictability. It'll help you with more information right away. So make sure you get a log and log when they're going to the bathroom. When you're taking them out to go to the potty, make sure you always use the same door. If you have multiple doors in your home, don't use different doors. Always use the same door and always take them to the same spot. This will help them to go quicker and easier. It'll make your life so much simpler. So always use the same door and always use the same potty spot. In the beginning, for that first week, you're gonna have to take them out very often. It's not uncommon to have an eight week old puppy and you're going outside every hour or two in the beginning as they develop this schedule. Once they start adopting the schedule that you've created for them, they'll adapt to it and you'll be able to go for longer periods of time in between potty breaks. When you first take home a puppy, one of the first things that you need to do is you need to find a good veterinarian if you don't have one already and get scheduled with them. If you have a young puppy, they're gonna need a lot of shots in the beginning, there's multiple rounds. So you're gonna to wanna to get on the veterinarian schedule, get those appointments booked so you're able and ready to go to them. Before you begin to start socializing them and things like that, you wanna make sure that they're healthy before they go out into the world. And that way, if there is any type of illness, that the veterinarian can help you with that in the beginning. So you're starting your first rounds of shots, you got a clean bill of health, now you're gonna to wanna to begin the process of socializing your puppy in a safe way. It is safe to take them outside, it is safe to play in a yard, it is safe for them to 
socialize with healthy dogs, but avoid places where a lot of dogs go at once, like a dog park or even the pet store. Try to find maybe your neighbor or friend's house or family member's house and start socializing them in that way. As a part of your socialization, you're gonna to want to have them experience other dogs, other puppies, children and humans and adults and get them out there in the world so they start to experience these things at a really young age, but just do it in a safe and protective way. So you're probably really excited, especially in the beginning, to play with your puppy. So in between crating sessions, when your puppy's getting naps, they should be getting lots of naps throughout the day, you're going to want to engage with them with play. So bring them out of their crate, maybe in their pen or in a puppy-proof room, engage and play with them there. Use toys as a medium for play. Don't use your hands, otherwise the puppy will likely bite on your hands. So use a toy like a rope or a stuffed toy or a bone or something like that that they can enjoy and use that as the medium in which you play with your puppy. Try to avoid wrestling or using your hands so you don't teach them or reward them for biting behaviors. When you first bring home your puppy, don't feel like you have to take them out for like these mile long walks. Playing in the house or playing in the yard is plenty sufficient for the first week. You can start to take them on walks, but they should be short and sweet, like less than five minutes. It's not a bad idea to help develop some leash walking behavior early on, but play in the house and that type of enrichment, socializing and interaction is plenty sufficient for the first week. Once you bring your puppy home, you're gonna to wanna to make sure if you haven't already that you have some basic equipment. You're gonna want a normal collar, that the dog can wear around their neck. Typically you'll have like their ID tag on it. You'll want a leash, a standard six foot nylon leash is fine. And you'll probably want to get a harness. The reason you want a harness is you want to get the pressure off of their neck because when puppies are leash walking for the first time, they're going to go out to the end of the leash and kind of pull you. So we don't want them to choke when they're walking on the leash. So a harness can help you with that in the beginning stages of walking. You'll want a leash, a harness, and a collar. You'll also want to have a large collection of different types of toys. I recommend putting them in a box and keeping them away from free access from your puppy, like up on a counter or on top of the fridge or something. Throughout the day, take toys out of this box and play with them with your puppy. At the end of the day, pick all the toys back up, put them in the box. By rotating the toys like this, it'll keep your puppy more engaged with those toys and they'll play with them more. So that it's a great tool for you to be able to have at any point in time, you can grab a new toy out of this box and introduce it in a play session with your puppy or give it to them when they're in their pen hanging out or even in their crate so they have something new and enjoyable to chew on. So make sure you have sufficient number of toys and make sure you store them in a place that you can get them quickly. You'll also want to have some type of chewing bone or chewing item for your puppy. I like bully sticks. Chewing is a great way for dogs and puppies to relieve stress. And also puppies are very mouthy in the beginning. So they may even be teething and chewing on a bone can help satiate that need to put their mouths on things. So we definitely want them chewing on bones and not our hands. So get them some sort of chewing item that they can chew on when they're hanging out by themselves. Just the last few tips here when you first bring your puppy home. One of the things that people tend to do is because their puppy's a little stinky sometimes, they wanna give them a bath. Don't give your puppy a bath in the first week. The reason for this is because everything's new and it's a lot for them and we don't wanna traumatize them with bath time because then you could have a puppy who, or a dog who's scared of baths for the rest of their life. So probably avoid giving them a bath in that first week. Let them start to acclimate. And then when you do finally give them a bath, you're gonna to wanna to do it slowly and have a lot of treats so that they can enjoy it and you can create positive association with bath time. You may have other dogs in the home already and you wanna make sure that for your, for your other dogs that the puppy's not too overwhelming for them. 
So a play pen is really good because you can have the puppy in the pen. They can play in the pen and do a lot of things in the pen. And the other dogs can be approach the pen or be near it, but they have the freedom to move away. A lot of times older dogs, especially if they're seniors, they're not into all that puppy play. I mean, your dog might be, but a lot of dogs aren't. So make sure that your dogs aren't in a situation where they can't escape from the puppy. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your dogs have sufficient amount of breaks from the puppy. Keep the interactions short, sweet, and positive. Maybe introduce some treats or some toys when there's a pen or a gate dividing your puppy from the older dogs in the house. You're gonna to wanna to let both the puppy and your older dog acclimate with the fact that there's another canine in the house over a period of time until they can be free together in the same room. You're gonna wanna take it slow. And lastly, the most important thing overall is that you're consistent. Dogs do great with routines that are consistent. If you're inconsistent and disorganized, your puppy will struggle more. So try to be as consistent and routine-like as possible to help create success for your new puppy. Then, after you've gone through the first week with your puppy, you're gonna wanna start getting into training, which includes socialization, manners, and obedience. Pup Camp is a great way for you to jump right into training and you can begin teaching these things to your puppy. Our core program contains over 60 videos and 100 worksheets for you to begin training your puppy under the age of two. And you'll be equipped with everything you need to create a successful puppy for the rest of their entire life.